Every fall, you see the big machines in the cornfields bringing in the latest crop of Nebraska corn. But this is just the end of a very long process that actually begins well before the seeds go into the ground. Each winter, farmers begin deciding what type of corn they want to plant in the spring. There are hundreds of choices, so farmers need to figure out which types of corn will work best on their farms. They need to match the right seed to the types of soil in their fields, the climate in their area, and many other factors. In April or May, the corn seeds they choose are planted underground in rows. Farmers use technology such as GPS mapping to keep their tractors going in a straight line. These computers also help them place seeds and fertilizers in exactly the right place. After the corn seeds are planted, they need the right combination of moisture, sunlight, and temperature to grow. Corn plants grow stronger with the right nutrition, just like people. Corn plants get many of their nutrients from the soil through their root system. But farmers also help by adding fertilizers and protecting their crops against weeds and insects. Corn plants need plenty of water to grow, and they get that water when it rains or through irrigation systems. By middle to late summer, those corn plants have grown eight feet tall or more. Each corn plant has one or two ears of corn, and each ear has anywhere from 500 to 1,200 kernels on it. Eventually, the corn plants turn from green to brown as they mature. The kernels dry out, and that's when the corn is done growing. In late fall, usually in October or November, the corn is ready to be harvested or picked. An amazing machine called a combine combs through the field, separating the corn kernels from the corn cobs. And all that technology inside the combine is letting farmers know how much corn is coming from each area of the field and how good that corn is. That information helps the farmer plan for next year. The corn is moved from the combine to a truck or trailer and then taken to storage. Corn is usually stored in grain bins or at a large facility called a grain elevator until it is sold to someone who wants to use it to feed animals, make ethanol fuel, or process it into food or other products. What's left in the field after harvest can be fed to livestock. These leftover stalks and leaves also help protect the soil from wind and erosion and help preserve precious moisture. Harvest time is like a report card for corn farmers. That's when they see how well they did after a year of hard work and taking good care of their corn plants. Farmers get their grade based on how much corn they grew per acre and the overall quality of that corn. Then the whole process starts over again, selecting the corn seeds that will be planted the next spring. For a corn farmer, every year is a brand new start and another chance to nurture a crop from planting to harvest.